It has been 22 years since South African cricket came out of international isolation. But the issue of transformation continues to plague the sport. Reports indicate that most schools still do not play the game. Recently, I asked Cricket South Africa why the sport at disadvantaged schools is still in such a poor state. If the national cricket team is going to be representative of the country, uh, then we've got to have black African guys in the team. Transformation is, is a continuous um, aspect um, of any organization. If one just goes around in, in any province, we find that, that the, the, the gap between those that are enjoying good facilities and access to, to, to world-class uh, facilities has not been narrowed. A problem that refuses to go away in South African cricket. The lack of transformation in South African cricket is still a burning issue. Many believe the country's top young black players are lost in the system after playing at under-19 level. With a competitive 20-over school league now established in South Africa, this tournament could serve as a pipeline for cricket authorities who are on the lookout for the next Makayantini. Cricket South Africa have lauded the progress made in their development programs but admit more needs to be done in disadvantaged areas. Facilities, or the lack thereof, have also hindered many black kids without access to tournaments such as the Cricket South Africa School's T20 Challenge, which was recently held in Stellenbosch. I think that is our biggest challenge because often we do put facilities down, we hand it over to communities and local government, and, and then, um, to be honest, uh, often that... Um, that partnership doesn't work. There's a perception in South African cricket that for black cricketers to make it to international level, they will have to be educated at former Model C schools. It's a view that discourages many aspiring cricketers who lack the opportunity of attending some of the best schools in the country. Ronald Masinda, Cape Town.